Hi, welcome to Main Street Macro. I'm Neela Richardson. Every year around this time, prominent central bankers, finance leaders, and academics gather together in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, to discuss the most pressing economic issues of our time around the world. Well, last week, in a sign of the times, this conference was held virtually due to pandemic concerns. But even more interesting in terms of the sign of the times is the theme of last week's conference, which was macroeconomic policy in an uneven economy. Well, for macroeconomic policy in the Fed, the primary toolbox has been interest rates, and they've kept interest rates at rock bottom levels in order to help the economic recovery. In this week's blog, we discuss the role of macroeconomic policy in three key sources of unevenness. The first is the wealth gap. 10% of households own 70% of the wealth in the United States as of the first quarter of this year. And because of rock bottom interest rates, we've seen the stock market climb to new highs and house prices soared. That's great for the people who own these assets. And interest rates at very low levels are likely to keep accelerating asset prices like real estate and the stock market. But it also is likely to increase the gap between the haves and the have-nots, a key source of unevenness in the economy. Now, the second source we've talked a lot about in the Main Street Macro blog, and that is the labor market unevenness. You see, the pandemic was, was felt hardest by low pay workers. They bore the brunt of the job loss early on, but the effects didn't start there. Women also were more affected by the twin storms of an economic downturn and a health crisis. And the African-American unemployment rate and the Hispanic level uh, in unemployment are still much higher than that for white Americans. So a key source of unevenness in the labor market that has historical roots in racial inequities. The third source of unevenness is also seen and illuminated by the pandemic. And that's the unevenness with supply and demand. Since the economic recovery has taken Taken hold, we've seen demand rebound, but still pockets of limitations in supply and everything from uh, chicken wings to semiconductors. And that unevenness has driven up prices in pockets of the economy that are widespread and broad based. And that those price increases have led to inflation, which threatens the Fed's ability to keep interest rates at rock bottom levels. And so as we look for macroeconomic policy to level the playing field in the labor market, to increase uh, the, the opportunity in the economy to grow wealth in the middle class and to increase wages overall, we also have to keep an eye on interest rates and inflation. Thank you for watching the Main Street Macro blog this week. For more of our insights on the week ahead, please go to adpri.org.